Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand why the answer for this question mark is not supposed to be 0.3. See, understand whenever you divide any number by 10, you can directly write this as what 0.8. Means whatever is the number of zeros, that will be the number of digits over here after the decimal point. So let's say if we had 123 divided by 10, then you would have written it as what 12.3 because there was just one zero so you want just one digit after the decimal point now let's do this one two three divided by hundred that can be written as what yes guessed it right it should be 1.23 now what happens if the number is just three divided by ten it's just single three right so it will be what 0.3 correct if it is single three divided by hundred then it cannot be 0 0.3, right? It can be what? 0 0.03. Okay. Similarly, if we had divided 3 by 1000, it would have been 0 0.003. Okay. So, answer for this question mark is supposed to be 0 0.03. Okay. And for those of you who want to do this in the division method, you can even do it this way. 100 and then we have 3. So first, we have three, can, 3 is very small than 100, so we will make it what 30. In order to make it 30, we will put a point. But still 30 is less than 100, so we will put one more 0. So we will put a 0 over here as well. And then we know that 100 into 3 gets you 300. Okay, so that is how you can even do this. So 3 upon 100 is also called as 0 0.03. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.